Hi friends and welcome back to my channel Lotus Geek. In this video, we are going to fix your AMD Radeon software issue which is showing that it is not compatible. So let's go ahead and fix out this issue. Click on the start menu and type run. Open the run application and type here system properties advanced and then hit the enter key. Here choose the option system protection. From here click on system restore. If any restore point is available at your end, make sure you restore your system to a previously stable state. At my end, there is no restore point available. So for such PCs, we are going to proceed to the second step. In second step, right click on start menu and choose the option device manager. Expand your display adapter, right click on your adapter, display adapter present over here and click on the option properties. Click on driver tab and if rollback option is available at your end, make sure you click on the rollback driver to bring your driver to the previously, previously stable state. Now if rollback driver option also is not available, then we are left with third option. In third option, first of all, again open your run command and type the same system properties advanced and then hit the enter button. From here, click on the hardware tab and click on device installation settings. Choose the option no over here and then click on the save changes option. Hit the ok button. Once done, open your device manager and find the name of your adapter. For example, I have Intel, so the name is Intel HD Graphics 5500. So note down your AMD graphic driver name from here. Once noted down, open this official website. I'll provide you the link of this website in the description below. Scroll down and from here choose the option graphics and choose the series of your AMD Radeon from this list. Once selected, choose again the further series and then click on the submit button to get the option to download a driver from here expand it and click on this download button to download the driver into your system directly the size is of around 456 mb so once these drivers are downloaded go ahead and run this downloaded driver and then install it in your system just like you install any other software this way your problem will be fully fixed that's it about it friends if this video works out for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get and continue receiving updates from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching